<laughs> so today is uh, June 19th, and we're sitting here with Mom Baldwin, and she is going to tell we're us. Eating watermelon. We're eating We're eating watermelon. See, everybody's eating watermelon. And Grandma is going to tell us a story about watermelon. So we're going to make all these videos so Grandma can share her <laughs> stories, and we'll transcribe them and, and make a history for her. Okay, Grandma has this really great story about watermelon. So go ahead. Sorry, I stopped it. Go ahead. When I was a little girl, <clears throat> we took a trip. About five years old? About, about four or five years old, we took a trip to Arizona. From Casper. To see, from Casper, Wyoming, to see uh, Prescott, Arizona, to see my grandmother and all my relatives, of my mother's relatives down there. Okay. And so we visited with them. And then on the way back, we, we uh, came through the desert. Uh, by way of, uh, we took a road through the desert to see more of the beautiful country down there. And our little old car ran out of water. The radiator went dry. And so we overheated and we had to stop in the desert and we were praying about what to do. And because the bag of water that hangs on the front of the car in those days, had, we had emptied it into the radiator. So it was a canvas bag that you had, you had to get wet and then it would hold water. And yeah, and it would cool hold car. water. And, cool down your radiator. And so, because you had to fill up the radiator every now and then. And so we had filled it up and, and we had still got, weren't still out of the desert. And so we ran out again and we overheated and and mom and dad were praying about what they so were going to do. So they're stuck in the middle of the desert. With six, six kids, kids. And <coughs> nobody coming down the road hardly because it was a different road. And so it was, um, it, it was uh, my dad and mom thought, well, we bought these three watermelons or four watermelons, whatever it was, to, uh, to take home to Casper because watermelons were very expensive in those days in Wyoming. And so um, they decided, well, let's cut up the watermelons and squeeze the watermelon juice into the radiator. And that's what they did. And that the, we got out of the desert that way. And then the rest was, <laughs> that was the trip. I <laughs> said so grandpa must have cleaned up the radiator or something because it yeah, lasted he, that car still well, lasted for years. He was a mechanic so he knew how to clean it up afterwards but but Flush that, it out. that at least it got us all out of the desert and Okay. That's safely. that's grandma's watermelon story. Thank watermelon you, Grandma. <laughs>